Hello everyone, in the current session we will be discussing about the non-Newtonian systems, especially pseudoplastic flow. Before that, let us briefly discuss about the types of material and whenever we classify the materials according to the type of flow and deformation, they are categorized into two types. They are Newtonian systems and the non-Newtonian systems. Majority of the fluid pharmaceutical products are not simple liquids and they do not follow the Newton's law of flow. And these systems are referred to as non-Newtonian systems. And generally the non-Newtonian behavior is exhibited by liquids and solid heterogeneous dispersions such as colloidal solutions, emulsions, liquid suspensions and ointments. Coming to the types of flow. Similar to that of types of system, types of flow can also be categorized into two, Newtonian flow and non-Newtonian flow. The non-Newtonian flow is further subcategorized into three types, plastic flow, pseudoplastic flow and dilatant flow. In the previous session, we have discussed about the plastic flow and in the current session, we will be focusing on the pseudoplastic flow. Coming to pseudoplastic flow. Many pharmaceutical products, including dispersions of natural and synthetic gums, for example, tracaganth, sodium alginate, methyl cellulose, and sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, they exhibit pseudoplastic flow. And the pseudoplastic flow is typically exhibited by polymers in solution in contrast to plastic systems which are composed of flocculated particles in suspensions. The pseudoplastic flow is typically exhibited by polymers in solutions. This is an important point. And the pseudoplastic systems are often referred to as shear thinning systems. Pseudoplastic systems are termed as shear thinning systems. Now coming to the consistency curve for a pseudoplastic material. This is the curve for the pseudoplastic flow. The consistency curve for the pseudoplastic material, it begins at the origin or at least it approaches the origin at low rates of shear. And hence, there is no yield value in the pseudoplastic flow. Because it starts from the origin, there is no yield value in the pseudoplastic flow in contrast to plastic flow, which exhibit a yield value. And furthermore, because no part of the curve is linear, the viscosity of pseudoplastic materials cannot be expressed by a single value, as in case of Newtonian systems or plastic systems. And the viscosity of pseudoplastic substance, it decreases with increasing the rate of shear. The viscosity decreases with increasing the rate of shear and an apparent viscosity can be obtained at any rate of shear from the slope of tangent to the curve at the specified point. Now, the curve rheogram for pseudoplastic materials results from a shearing action on long chain molecules of materials such as linear polymers. In the further session, let us discuss about the mechanism of pseudoplastic flow. It is mainly exhibited by long chain molecules such as linear polymers. In case of linear polymers or long chain molecules, as the shearing stress is increased, normally disarranged molecules began to align along their axis in the direction of flow. As the shearing stress is increased, the molecules which are normally disarranged, they began to align along their axis in the direction of flow. And this orientation, it reduces the internal resistance of the materials and allows a greater rate of shear at each successive shearing stress. In addition to that, some of the solvent associated with the molecules may also be released resulting in an effective lowering of both the concentration and the size of the dispersed molecules. 
this aids in the further reduction of apparent viscosity by this mechanism as the shearing stress is increased the apparent viscosity of pseudoplastic flow materials is decreased and the objective comparisons between different pseudoplastic materials is difficult however martin and et al they have derived an exponential formula of f to the power of n is equals to viscosity coefficient into g this term is the viscosity coefficient and the exponent n rises as the flow becomes increasingly non newtonian n increases or n rises as the flow becomes increasingly non newtonian and whenever n is equals to 1 viscosity coefficient is equals to f by g indicating that the flow is newtonian and following the rearrangement of the previous equation it can be written as log g minus n log f minus log viscosity coefficient and this is an equation for a straight line and many pseudo plastic systems they fit the equation when log g is plotted as a function of log f by this we can calculate the viscosity of pseudo plastic materials but unfortunately several more pseudo plastic suspending agents used in the pharmacy they do not fit into this equation for that purpose modified equations were suggested by shangrol et al and the kassen and patson and similarly an analog computer has been used to characterize the pseudo plastic systems based on the assumptions that the typical rheogram of a pseudo plastic substance is composed of a first order segment and a zero order segment by this we complete the pseudo plastic flow thank you